Hello there everybody, Kubrick here and today I want to finally welcome you to something I've been working for a long time. This is my LEGO room, let's check it out. I've been waiting for this moment since I moved to this new apartment about a year ago, but finally my lego room slash man cave is in a state that I can give you guys a proper tour. And what better time to do this than to celebrate the thousand subscribers I got on my channel recently. Of course I'm not saying that the room is finished in any means, and it probably never will be cause I still got a lot of ideas for it, but for now I am happy of where I'm at with it. So now, without further ado, let's start the tour. So, what better place to start a LEGO room tour than the LEGO workplace itself? This is where all the building magic happens. My part collection may not be the biggest one compared to other builders, but it's still growing with every mark, so just give me time, okay? I know that everybody have their own way of sorting bricks, so we'll not go much into details, and just go briefly over the stuff I have over here. But yeah, I'm a sort by type kinda guy. These are the parts I use the most in my builds, starting with plates, wedges and tiles on this side, through accessories and technic in the middle, to all sorts of random modified bricks, slopes, plants and all types of connectors on the right side. The yellow containers are where I keep my bricks, slopes and other bigger parts I use on a daily basis, and the bigger quantities of bricks are kept in the pickup brick cups on the top. As you can see the workspace I have for building is a bit occupied right now, and that is because I am working on something at the moment. If you are following my Instagram then you already know what it is, but if not you'll just have to wait and see. Since I wanted this place to be a bit more fun than just bricks all around me, I decided to display some of my favorite minifigs on the walls. So here, I have most of my empire figs in front of me. This may not be much comparing with some other people's collections, but I really dig the aesthetics of this place with the lego pattern posters in the middle. I still need to get a frame for the one showing off the minifig patent, but you get the idea. Over here I have some of my recently used figs like the mandalorians or the islanders that I used for my forbidding island mock. And you guys might remember the medieval ballista from the Siege of Bricks collab I did last year. Yep, it still works and I just didn't have the heart to tear it down. This part of the display is constantly changing depending on what figs were in use lately and what I'm in mood for at the moment. On the wall on the right I have my small armies that I've either been using or I tend to be using in the near future. Not much figs here. But you guys know that I rather build small but detailed, so this is more than enough for my style of building. Now these boxes over here are what I use to store the parts I'm using for my current projects, and these two are just waiting to get filled with the parts for the ATST Raider, designed by my friend from the Edge of Bricks channel, which I will hopefully build in the near future. But you know, building isn't the only thing I do here, so let's check out the rest of my desk. Not only am I a builder, but also a graphic designer, a YouTuber, a photographer and so on, so a nicely looking environment to work at is something that I really need to have to get the job done. Having two monitors is a must have of course, but also my Razer headset, a Moses mic and something to keep me entertained while I'm not working. You will also see a lot of nerd stuff around the room, like Grogu over here or the 3D printed lightsaber on which I spent a long time polishing it to make it look like the real deal. And yep, gotta have my sick fig and the cute brick logo in the middle, because, you know, this is the way. And finally, there she is. The moment I saw this digital painting, I knew I had to have Supergirl looking at me from above. And since I am a huge DC fan, this was a no-brainer for me. Now, before it's time to move to the relax zone, let's check out the few things I have on the other side of the room. First of all, this banner right here was an epic found. I got it for like 5 euros or so, and I gotta admit it looks great here. Below I keep some parts that are not so frequently used, 
but which I still need to have an arm's reach, next to my beloved Darth Vader Samsonite backpack. Moving on, I wanted to make use of the furniture I had in my old apartment, so this one is not only a place to display some of my builds, but also is filled with all sorts of LEGO related stuff. The top drawer is filled with my minifigs, some separated and some just randomly stored. Below is where I keep most of my instructions and base plates. And going down, there is just some more instructions, catalogs, polybags, and all sorts of random but fairly used stuff. Okay, now that we have all the bricks stored, mocks made, and work done, it's time to relax on the couch. This is the part of the room where most of my decorations are at. Starting with the lamp I made from a Lego head container. You know, just to be sure what room this is. Here I have my DC minifigure collection. I've always loved these comics when I was a kid, so now I could combine those two passions and have me a little display. I'm slowly filling the frames with all my favorite heroes and villains. Over here I have this little kinda unique Japanese leaflet I had since the first western sets came out and the thing that I'm still hyped after years of owning it is a photo from Star Wars Episode 6 with an autograph from Femi Taylor, which I won in a Star Wars trivia about 10 years ago. Going up I have some shelves with a few sets and my Star Wars book collection. You guys know that I rather build my own stuff than just official LEGO sets, but these are the ones that I just had to have. But there is still my 1313 vignette I just couldn't take apart. Not just yet. As for the Barracuda, I took the diamonds I got from my Forbidden Island mock to display it even better than it is straight out of the box. The windows are also decorated a bit, with three of my most nerdish lovers. Star Wars, DC and Fallout. And the other one with my dream car, the 1968 Camaro SS. And what kind of fan I would be without the Darth Vader's helmet. It's a bit worn out already, but still look menacing. And finally, my small entertainment center. The TV is an old one, but it's enough for now since it's just mainly used for playing video games and watching YouTube videos. I also made a small Mario course with my daughter, so we can make a little competition from time to time, accompanied with my favorite Star Wars sets of all time. Oh, and the things over here were supposed to be TV related, so I got The Simpsons, but for the other one I am still waiting for that Looney Tunes minifigure series that is supposed to go out soon. For now, it's just sport related things. And that is basically it for this little tour. Hopefully you got some inspirations from it, and maybe you will use some ideas in your own LEGO rooms. But most importantly, I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think in the comment section below, remember to leave a like and I will see you in the next one. Peace.